hello all the intention of this video is to validate two things in informatica the first is indirect file loading and the second one is dynamic file creation now to verify these things we'll execute one scenario which is like this we'll have three different source files uh, usa india and uk respectively and uh, however the structure of all the three for uh, three source files is same now uh, we'll read all these three uh, different source files using only one source qualifier with the help of indirect file loading method Similarly, we'll read these three file names dynamically to generate uh, same three target files uh, with the help of uh, transaction control uh, transformation using only one target definition. Now to, to execute this uh, scenario, uh, we'll create a mapping. Uh, let's uh, import the target definition, a source and targets first, source files. I take any file out of uh, out of the three files which are available comma or no quotes uh, change it to 50 change it to 10 yeah done uh, our target definition is also same structure of our target definition is also same now uh, in order to read the uh, currently process file name we need to have one extra port available so uh, as soon as you click on this checkbox one new port will get created automatically as you can see uh, the new port called currently process file name got created as soon as we clicked on that checkbox similarly at target also in order to create a new file dynamically we need to have one more column or one more port called file name um, direct file load we have our source and target definitions ready we'll add one expression in between as you can see in this figure we will after our source qualifier we have expression this expression will help us to identify the changed file name we'll add an expression solution create expression xp mark change file name we'll pass all five ports from source qualifier to our expression will create few extra ports just to identify new file and old file old file have 256 precision current file old file value the same as current file and for current file will replace the current file basically when informatica read uh, the uh, or the value which which is we, which is uh, coming from this current process file name will have the whole file name path so that will also have your uh, whole directory path along with the actual file name so we, we as we do not want our directory structure uh, structure name and uh, we need only the actual file name will replace this directory structure name with null so use replace string function first is for as you see as you can see here uh, the one one means the flag one means uh, it's case sensitive we'll add current process file name port we'll give our directory structure and we'll replace that with null will check flag 
for 56 and we'll mark this check flag as one only when we'll have new file coming from source if old file is not equal to current file then mark it as one or else zero so one indicates there is a change in the file name and o current file or output as file name that will be current file now we will use transaction control pro transformation control to create a new file when when there is a change in the file name so we will pass all these ports to transaction control transformation ahead and here we will add the logic so if we find check flag as one that means the file name got changed we will commit the transaction commit t transaction commit before else we will continue the same transaction so if there is a change in the file name we will commit the transactions in order to create a, a new file name else we will continue with the same transaction ok uh, we'll change the data type check flag to integer now we will validate this also to integer now first four four ports will go as is and the file name port have done with the mapping creation will create the workflow generate workflow next 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 finish now to read all these three different source files using only one source qualifier we need to do or we need to use indirect file loading method so our source file type has to be indirect and and uh, the source file name has to be the list of files so file list will have all the three different files from which we will be loading the data so we'll give this file list name here and actual file directory also at target level use this folder structure output file directory I have done with the workflow now we will execute the workflow now the uh, source qualifier read 19 records same records got inserted at target so basically there were three different source files and same three different target files got created each having same number of records as in source thanks for watching this video